Уважаемые телезрители, и вновь в эфире телеканала М1 Global прямая трансляция турнира ММА серии 15. Время новых героев. И прямо сейчас состоится главный бой сегодняшнего турнира, который, конечно же, представляет бой среди девушек. Поэтому под ваши аплодисменты в синий угол клетки приглашается из Азербайджана Газель Зутова! You're watching MMA Series 15, Time of New Heroes, and this is our main event of the evening. Coming live from St. Petersburg, Russia, and brought to you by the Football Sports Network and around the world on the Clash TV app. The first fighter making her way down for this all-female, unbeaten main event is Gozel Zutova from Azerbaijan. She has a record of seven wins, and no defeats. Now, six of those wins are coming from big KO TKO, one by submission. This girl can really punch heavy hands, heavy kicks, and great grappling. And our final fighter making their way down to the cage this evening. Coming down to the red corner for this main event fight. Daria Zelezniakova. Three wins, no defeats. And she has a very fast fit. If you remember back from MMA Series 1, for those who watched, a very fast 42 second knockout in that first MMA series fight she had. Another unbeaten fighter, 10 fights between these two, no defeats. And if you look at the two TKOs from Zelezniakova and the seven TKOs from Zutova, I think we've got fireworks coming. На середину. Итак, внимательно. Правила помним, не нарушаем. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Напоминаю, что головой удары запрещены. Локтем бить можно, кроме ударов локтем 12-6. Слушаем меня внимательно. Уважаем друг друга, деремся честно и активно. Руки пожали. И по углам. You're watching MMA Series 15, Time of New Heroes. This is the main event of the evening. Zutova in the blue corner. Zelezhnikova in the red. Two unbeaten fighters here. The girl from Azerbaijan, Zutova, seven, oh, sorry, eight fights unbeaten. Shorter, stocky, powerful. Zelezhnikova from Russia, tall, rangy. Zutova's going to look to close down, throw those hooking, powerful shots. Watch the Lezhnikova try to use a reach, maybe the front kick and the jab. Distance closed, leg kick up from Zutova, who's trying to make this into a, into a brawl as she steps forward, pulls the head down, looking to bring the knee up. Looking to bully here in the clinch, pulling the arm and then pulling the head. But great work from Zlezhnikova, who lands some nice clean shots down the middle. 
Sharp strikes there. Zlizniakova, better success again. You see Zutova trying to make this into a brawl. Bully her down to the floor. Use the power and strength she's got. And that's a guillotine, a tight guillotine attempt by the looks of it. Looks like a ten-finger guillotine. So both hands underneath the chin and she keeps her chest over the back of the head so she can't escape. So rather than a guillotine where you'd use one arm or the other and the head to the sides, the ten-finger guillotine, that you keep the head right in the middle of the body and the weight over the back of the head. Difficult to do in the MMA gloves, but she's having a good go here. And again, controlling Selezhnia Kova down to the mat, who I think has managed to clear her head, and she's out on top. Now, what will she do? Will she push down on the back of the head and stand back up? Try to get her arms clear. I think we can see the stronger in the clinch here is Zatova. But definitely sharper work from Zelezhnyakova. I wonder how much that's taken out of her having a throat grabbed. It's a really tight, uncomfortable submission is the 10-finger guillotine from that position. So body kick there from Zelezhnyakova. Nice jab. Again, from this outside work, she's picking good shots, looking to turn for a throw there, using the wrestling, shoulder throw. Switches from the shoulder throw to, the, to just an inner reap as she turned. Good wrestling from Zutova, who looks heavier in the clinch. I know the both is the stature of the two. Zelezhnikova, probably the taller end of the weight division and Zutova short and stocky, so such different statures. And Zutova looking to stay on top, work the ground and pound. So Lesniakova needs to get out from underneath here. She doesn't want to stay underneath the powerful Zutova. She's looking to push the head. Ground and pound coming from high up now with that right hand. She's got a pinned in this half guard position. Now she's pinned the arm as well. Big shots now going in. Solid ground and pound from Gazelle Zutova. 90 seconds left. In the corner there, shouting instructions there as the arm's pinned again. Looking to pin the arm and then she'll clear the head and work the strikes again. Big left hands going in. Look at those shots. Unanswered shots. Referees looking on carefully, giving him every opportunity in this title fight here. But Zlezhnikova needs to get out. She cannot just keep eating clean shots here with no defense. Looking to take mount now, Zatova. She'll need to push. The, she's, I think she's got past. She, Good hip movement. Zlesnikov managed to get the other hip through and it's half guard on the other side now. Good shots raining down. Now postures up onto her feet. Pins the arm on the other side. So just the same position she had on that other side. And again, unanswered blows. These are going to do damage to the face here of Daria Zlesnikova. Into the last 30 seconds, Lesnikova gets back to her knees into the turtle position. Will we see another front headlock attempt here now? Or is she looking to take the back? Now again, bullies are onto her side. Good work from Lesnikova trying to get the knees in, but she can't. Controlled again by Zutova. So, first round done, main event of the evening. That will be a very disheartening first round, I feel, for D Daria Dzleznyakova. She landed the clean shots there. Look, on the outside work, from standing, that's where she got a, the most success. But the wrestling and the control, I feel, in the round, the control on the floor and the wrestling and clinch, I really feel that Gazelle Zatova bullied Dzleznyakova there. Look at those clean, unanswered strikes there while the arm's pinned. So look at that. 38 strikes landed out of 57 from Zatova. 12 out of 18 for Zlezhnikova. Zlezhnikova's success 
with the with the knees four out of four no knees landed from Zatova I do remember Zatova pulling the head down and looking to knee in the clinch position I don't know whether she landed clean but according to the stats then nothing was landed with the knees so second round MMA series 15 time of new heroes this is our main event of the evening Gozel Zatova against Daria Daria Zelezniakova these two ladies here battled out the first round you can see there's Zatova's face she's wary of these strikes on the outside because the success that Zelezniakova got in the first round was from the outside position landing long straight strikes so Zatova needs to close the distance and it's way she's, she's right to be wary having to walk past that jab because it's a sharp jab now I think this will help Zelezniakova grow in confidence she can see the fear there the wariness of Zatova and if she can just step in a little bit but not too much don't commit too much to the hands with the feet sorry don't commit too much with your weight don't let the clinch happen she needs to step off with a knee Zelezniakova hold, uh, sorry Zatova holding on tight that's what she does need to do she needs to hold on and try to bully her back to the floor working the dirty boxing now trying to get the hips in for a throw there Zelezniakova now needs to work that jab straight away she needs to be assertive and land the straight shots the jab and the cross do not let the distance be closed down nice shoulder throw that's what she was looking for in the first round and that timing was perfect beautiful wrestling shoulder throw into side control and pins the arm again this is not where Zelezniakova wants to be and it's exactly where Gazelle Zutova wants to be Turns to a side well. The arm is still pinned. She's got the knee now in as a knee shield. Zatova steps to half guard. Again, the weight, the build of Zatova on top of you is a lot of weight. She's sort of smothering into her, throwing the shots, pinning the arms, making it so difficult. This would be draining the life out of da Daria Zelezniakova. Again, she just uses the weight, the shoulder in there. When she's not throwing strikes, she's putting a lot of weight and heaviness down. Zatova using the distribution so well. Dropping punches, dropping elbows. The big left hand now. She's fallen into the mount position now. I'd like to see her looking for a finish now here from mount. Start to work the strikes through. Throw more shots. She's looked to pin an arm again. Needs to keep her balance. She's pinned the arm now in mount position. This is not good for Daria. But very good for Zutova. Zutova landing strikes down again, unanswered. She can't take too many of these because the referee has to stop the fight for unanswered shots. There's got to be intelligent defence. But that's she's doing well. She's got the balance off. Watch her come round to the top. Now she needs to really punish Zutova and work. She's got 90 seconds left in this round. She's well behind. She needs to take the advantage of getting this top position. Do not let Zatova get back on top. Zatova looking tired. She's not getting back to her knees. Look how she's lay out flat. And this is good work. Zelezniakova, can she turn this fight around? Great work here. Zatova looks like her heart has gone. She's back to her knees. Can Zelezniakova get the hooks in? She has. She's going to look to get the choke. Has Zutova punched herself out? She's thrown a lot of shots. Again, rolls back to the front. These are unanswered punches. Now it's Zutova who's at risk of getting stopped for not answering the punches. Zelezniakova looking confident, firing shots. She needs to keep the work rate up because at the moment nothing is coming back. If she can get combinations of shots in, or a flurry of shots, the referee will be forced to stop this fight. 
Referee Vasilev Kisilev, a very experienced referee, looking on carefully. And that is the end of the fight. The fight is stopped. That is such a turnaround and testament to the heart of this young girl, Daria Zelezniakova. Absolutely great work because she got bullied and out-wrestled for a lot of that fight. She was underneath with her arms pinned, taking shots. And you, I mean, the heart that she showed there to come through, to take those shots, to carry on, and then to take her opportunity to get on top. And that is a fantastic win. She should be so, so proud of herself there. Great, great win. Hats off there. And to me, like I would give her fighter of the night just for the heart that she showed in such bad position, so close to that fight being stopped in, in numerous um, occasions there with the arm pinned and the unanswered shots. And she came back and she showed some real heart. Excellent win. Well-deserved win. Moving on to four fights and four wins. Daria Zelezniakova. Well, what a great event that has been again for the MMA Series 15. I'm so proud to be able to sit here and commentate these high-level fighters. Excellent work. Again, thanks to Fubo Sports Network and the Clash TV app showing these events week in, week out through such a, a terrible time in this worldwide pandemic. Hopefully we're coming out the other end, but we're still getting these great fights. What a main event. Such a well-deserved win there. Huge congratulations for our main event of the evening, Daria Zelezniakova. Look at the stats there, just to see the amount of shots she took. 63 shots had been landed against Zelezniakova. You see there, she had the sharp striking on the outside. She was landing, she had her success. Great work, and look here. Zatova was dominating that groundwork, pinning the arms, leaving her face with unanswered punches coming through. Those ones weren't as clean, and that was the beginning the end there as she dropped off from that mount position. It's hard. She was firing all those shots in, and Zelezniakova was not quitting, and I think she blew herself out, and the heart there played through.